Hi, my name is Rich Levitan, and I'm going to share with you my insights into video laryngoscopy, but you should always refer to your operations and maintenance manuals for your GlideScope products. When using a hyperangulated blade, I find for most adults, the three is more than adequate. It is important to appreciate with hyperangulation that if we overaccentuate insertion with the trachea coming down, that our tube delivery gets harder. Sometimes people will take the four and over insert it and that up angulation will actually make tube delivery harder. So I just want to compare in this mannequin the two different views afforded by a three which I believe works for most adults and the four. As we rotate around following the curvature of the blade I can see the uvula under direct and then I rotate down I have seated the tip of the blade in the vollecula. Now I get a view of the target like so. I am leaving the lower half of the screen free for tube delivery and my view is about 50% of the larynx. This is ideal for tube delivery. We want to avoid this. Now this three is more than adequate to provide an excellent view with enough space for tube delivery. If we switch this out here and we just take a look now at the four in this mannequin, what we're going to see is that after I scissor open the mouth and roll this around, the longer distance between the video element and the tip means we engage the vollecula earlier and as we come backwards there is a tendency to over insert. Now we have a very acute up angle, a very acute approach angle to the trachea and tube delivery can get harder. So I find in most adults a three works fine. Uh, if you use the four make sure that you do not over insert and for instance this is more than enough of a view with the four uh, to optimize tube delivery without over angulation relative to the trachea.